Hey, this is a short video of me changing out the front dampers. What I did was I bought longer, longer dampers to increase ride height. I'm touching down the floorboards. I increased the length of the rear shock. It helps some, but I still was touching the floorboards down. So I got a set of dampers, a little longer. To help out on ground clearance and lean angle. This here is my 2019 soft tail slim. Okay, this is fairly straight. On the side stand, stock spring, stock dampener. It's going to be the stock springs anyway. This is before I've replaced the dampener, and I am at about 38 and a half inches to the center of that bolt. Again, tape measure is as straight as can be. Tire is straight, but it is on the side stand. It is out. Uh, it looks to be about an inch and a half difference in length. Uh, one difference I did notice is the hole in the damper is a lot bigger in the new one than the old one. I don't know what that's going to do. Let's see. Same deal on the back side. And I said about an inch and a half difference, so that should be decent. I had thought it was going to be about two inches, but hey, this is going to be good. Hopefully, I'll find out the shroud will still cover and the chrome will be popping through, but I got a feeling I'm going to be seeing chrome fork. We'll see. This is just one side. Um, the, the plug, you need a 12 mil and a long extension. I ended up using this and it, it was kind of tricky. I ended up, I initially got the Harbor Freight, I had the Harbor Freight extension impact because I'd seen it on the internet. I guess they used it for a Dyna fork. It's too short for the slim. So this is a, a 12 millimeter, same size, but obviously significantly longer. All right, <laughs> I still have to put oil in it, but I, I put the cap on top to get some pressure from the spring to tighten up the plug. Anyway, before I did that, I needed to catch my breath and I figured I'd just give you an idea of the difference from stock and with the longer damper. You can see it's a decent amount. It's a, Inch and a half, maybe two inches. I mean, measuring a damper is an inch and a half, so it looks like more, but I'll go with what the ruler said. And uh, what'll be interesting to find out is if now the kickstand is too short. You know, he's sporting a gangster lean, which I don't like. Um, you can see too, a little chrome showing. I'm hoping with some weight on, it'll suck it up. If not, I can always pull a, a fork up a little bit in the triple tree until I straighten that out. Then I'm going to put it back in the lower risers until you get a longer brake line. Because guaranteed with the longer fork and the four and a half inch riser, that brake line is going to be too short because right now it's borderline. All right, here's the finished product. You can see a little bit of chrome, which you know, I prefer I didn't. It doesn't look horrible, but actually it doesn't look bad. Still need to clean it up. It's still dirty from working on it. Just a word, word of warning, word of advice. This job is not that bad. Disassembly, not that bad. Reassembly, not that bad. If 
you have a 12 millimeter four inch extension hex drive and an impact wrench if you don't have that it's doable but it's tough and whether or not you have that getting these caps back on are a bear because you have to compress the spring i knew that getting into it i've done this before but man it's getting tougher and tougher every time i do it at some point i, I did find online there is a spring compressor but it's like 200 dollars and obviously i don't do this that much but yeah fair warning that is a bear so it looks good as you can see i you know i have a longer shock in the back a 13 and a half inch shock in the back which i've had for a while this brings the front up now so it's it's a little more even it's not it doesn't have that tail end up in the air so much and the really good thing is kickstand i was concerned about you know a bad lean it's really not bad at all i'm surprised i really thought that the lean was going to be bad because you can see that the forks obviously you know that's there like an inch and a half, you know, a little over an inch and a half longer. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Take care. Okay, one last thing. My very non-scientific measurement of height. Same bolt. It's looking like... 29 or 29 39 maybe even three eighths it's just shy of 39 and a half inches so i'd say 39 and three eighth inches that's it again the ruler tape measure is about as straight as i can do it uh i, don't, I only have one hand so i can't really lean the bike straight so take it for what it's worth one extra bit of info. The kit was a tracker die, 49 millimeter damper kit. They actually didn't say they were compatible with the new soft so only with the die. And I actually sent the question in to them and I didn't get a definitive answer. So I figured I'd take the chance and it seemed to work out. I bought it through Lowbrow Customs and that is also the <clears throat> 12 millimeter hex drive that I needed to get out the plug in the fork. Uh, 